November here, 17th, we're launching Omnis on Mainnet. This is this, this, this next Friday. Okay. So what, let me tell you what Omnis is, and we'll talk about what we just talked about, but in a way that allow people to really maximize their, their earnings on Pulse Chain. So Omnis is, is, is our DEX aggregator. So unlike any other DEX aggregator, it will be the first on Pulse Chain with cross DEX limit orders. We have limit orders on Pulse Chain, which is a big deal because we don't have it now. Nowhere else you can just you know, put in and set your limit orders and go to bed and let me fill in the morning. Okay. So it will have that. It'll have the ability to uh, to swap between five tokens for one on a buy. Unheard of. It's the first, the first, I think we're the first ones ever to come up with that type of a, a, a scenario with a, with a DEX aggregator. And uh, we want to um, encourage other protocols to get get in touch with us and so we can and give us their you know um their information so we can and their subgraph information so we can you know put them in to this the mix so we could they, they, their DEXs can be uh, looked at for the aggregation purposes uh, you don't need, you don't need any special tokens or any special things to use it, it omnis is a uh, standalone product part of the uh, uh, suite of tetra products and it can be used by anybody you don't have to have tetra tokens at all or anything just use it it'll be out there um, on mainnet on the 17th. Wow. So let's, let's break that down too. So, um, te- Tetra, we'll get into Tetra and more of the tokenomics and stuff too, but Omnis, what does that enable? Is there, you know, we, we talked about the green room a little bit about like going through the plan and like, what, are, what is the role? What does this enable? You know, how, how do things tie into it for, for the ecosystem? Okay. So you have to have an aggregator in order to, uh, make uh, you know, swaps and trades be efficient and profitable okay you need a tool to do so and because of that uh, okx debacle a couple months ago we were forced to basically to uh, build, build our own rpc and then build our own dex aggregator in-house because we we, we had no choice we had, couldn't rely, rely on a third party now because of that and using our own dex aggregator that's in-house on our own rpc we will have our own private mempool which means that any MEV bot out there cannot front run your trades, which is very important because now you can safely set, set, execute your limit orders and not to worry about being front run out there in the, in, in the bot space. That's a te- very important technical uh, thing people need to understand. So we're not using the, the public RPC. We have our own private RPC, okay? And so having that capability then allows the Tetra strategies to deploy using Omnis as a uh, aggregator tool to facilitate the trades and swaps as needed within the strategy that is built, built. Okay. So it's, it's, it's integral part of, but it's also standalone at the same time. It can be done both ways. Depends on how you want to use the product, you know, and then eventually um, as, and it has a rollout that's going to come happen. Once we launch Atlas, which is the, you know, the front end, you'll have a handful of strategies to use by public at first, and then we'll roll out uh, further strategies after they're thoroughly tested by the team for the public to consume using, you know, whatever, whatever's out there in, in a DeFi space. And at a certain time in the future, we'll make a decision to then let Stratus be used to the public, make their own strategies. That's, that's the rollout plan. Okay. And just to want to drill down into each one a little bit too. So Omnis, um, what, what is that? Can you, can you just clarify too? Why is that? What, how does Tetra use that? Like, why is that part of the Tetra ecosystem? Because what happens is, let's say you have a strategy that you want to buy this thing at this price and then sell it at the other price. Well, Omnis is going to basically aggregate that price fee and give you the best deal when you buy. And then when the price hits the point you want to sell, it will do the exact same thing. Check all the, uh, the, uh, the DEXs for the best deal you can get at your price point and then execute, you see. Okay. Because as more and more DEXs come on or are, are linked up with Omnis, it gives you a, big, a bigger pool to execute your trades and arbitrage and all kinds of things within the system. And Omnis is well, like the, the catalyst that helps you do that, basically. So why not use, I, I know that, you know, we, there's specific features on this. That's what I'm trying to get to, too. Like, why not use any other decks? Why not plug into the existing ones uh, to do it? Why, why build you know, your own? We have, well, f- first of all, we can't trust third parties. That's why. That, that, that's it. That's, in a nutshell, that is the issue. If you rely on a third party, you cannot control, A, the fees, or nor can you control their functionality. And you were relying on them to be up 100% uptime and all that stuff, as well as the fact that they're not using, they're, uh, they're using public RPCs. 
They, or they could. So we want to make sure that the people who use our products get the best at order execution at the, at the, best, at, at the b- best times and not to worry about bots. That's, that's the purpose of, of doing it. We had to be, be sure we had a, a vertically integrated you know, ecosystem with Tetra. So, because remember, Tetra is going to be multi-chain in the future. So we moved to another chain. All these tools are already built, you see. Mm. So we, be, we, can, we can then migrate as we, as we grow over time and not have to reinvent the wheel or rely on another third party somewhere else. Gotcha. So there'll be, so Tetra will use Omnis, um, but also it'll be, you know, you'll be able to go to a website, use it like you would any other decks for, for trades and stuff. Yeah. You'll, you'll, you'll go to the, you'll go to the, uh, the, the front page of Atlas, hit the button and just use Omnis as you would use any other, you know, uh, uh, tool. So. So, so why would people use Omnis versus, you know, PulseX versus PHUX versus anything else? Like what would, why would they go there? Or there's, is there a specific reason or type of trade they would want to go there for? Um, why would you ever manually do a trade when you can set a limit order at the price you want? Hmm. Why would you ever want to manually trade? What's the point? I mean, unless you're just there, you don't care about the price at any given time to swap something. You can set a limit order to eat the best deal. Say it's going to check all the pools. That's the whole point. It's true. It's it's cross dex limit orders. That is the big deal. We don't have that now. There's no way to do so, it on pulse chain. So so versus like nine inch has limit orders, right? How is it? Not, not, they they have them. They don't work yet. They're not. Okay. It's only and it's only on their decks. Right. That's the difference. Now we rely on the entire pulse chain to have limit orders on any pool that's tied into Omnis. So the cross. PHU ecosystem on all pulse X are the two at first. That, that we have the, the get the, the subgraph on and we're waiting on others to get with us right now. We'll add them to, as they, as they come up. So then when you make your trade, Hey, it's searching for the best deal and, and find you the best route, get you the best dollar value you can for your trade. So Automatic cross decks, cross decks, limit orders. Uh, what about portal portal X swap? How is it different than that? Uh, well, portal X doesn't, you can't swap. Well, their stuff is still not working well in Pulse Chain yet. They're still working on it, as, as far as I know. You can do some stuff, but it's really not. They haven't got the. They, they, they're fi- I know they're trying to fix it. You have to ask Jesse. You no, know, I mean, I'll get Jesse about that. I'm not quite sure because I know we tried to do something the other day. It wasn't quite going through like it was supposed to, but they're working on it though. But they see they were using OKX and Change Now and stuff, and and that's when the OKX thing caused that problem. So we said, no, we can't do this. We got to do it ourselves. Because we, we, you know, that, that was why. Gotcha. So they're, so wouldn't it, wouldn't you call them also cross decks? They, you guys, they can do limit orders too. I think, no? Well, what, yeah, I'm just, just curious what, what the, not yet. What the, okay. They will eventually, but not yet. Okay. First to market, sounds like. That's it. That's it. Nice. I mean, nobody, you just cannot do limit order on cross decks on Pulse Chain. Not, that, that is really cool. You, you I don't want to take that away. I'm just, that's just that's what it is, you know. Um, but we worked hard on this trying to get this out because there's a lot of opportunities that's going to happen. Now we'll talk about that in a minute. Yes. So, so that was the first part, Omnis. And then what, what else? So again, the Vision Tetra, we have uh, Atlas, Stratus. Mm-hmm. Can, you, can you just give a, again, the, maybe the second piece, it sounds like it's Atlas, third piece, yeah, Atlas. Stratus? Yeah, Atlas okay. is the second piece, which will, ha- will have uh, a few strategies available for public consumption out the gate. It's also a, a dashboard that lets you manage all your assets. So um, so you can kind of look, look at it as asset management and then use it to, I, th- I think, if I'm mistaken, there'll be a limit order strategy and then a th- maybe some swing trade strategies and maybe one other thing that'll be right out the gate day one. And so people can utilize these strategies and set up, you know, uh, automated limit orders and stuff. But until then, you have to do it manually with Omnis. And then after that, we will continue to roll out strategies uh, that are thoroughly tested in the system based upon what's out. And then once you know, Stu's happy with, you know, the, uh, the rollout and the functionality and make sure no, no, no issues, then we'll put, put out strategies to the public and they can then consume and make their own strategies uh, customized to their liking. Okay. So just to, just to recap, we got the decks, cross decks, limit orders, critical infrastructure piece thing very soon. Uh, and then after that, Atlas, which is your ability to execute the strategies, but but you won't be able to make them yet. But you'll be able to execute them, Correct. ones that are around. Um, and then third piece, Stratus, where you'll be able to also create your own strategies, mm-hmm. 
and deploy them. Correct. Okay. And there's and a reason for all this. I and mean, we're doing it on purpose. As, as, as a, there's a learning curve to all this. It's also we want to make sure everything works 100% before we just throw this to these tools out there to the public. I mean, this, we just want to be methodical because this is a business and this is a software. This is not some – you remember, we're not creating a, uh, a smart contract here that you just interact with. This is software, so it's got to work. So we want to make sure everybody's happy and functions. And if there's anything, issues we can then fix, you know, and deal with and take feedback and then – with the feedback we may say oh we'll add these features you know as we roll out new uh, new features in the future okay and how about the uh, when will you be able to stake your tetra uh on the 24th let's see yeah the 24th of november you can stake your tetra but one week after the, the omnis launches okay so omnis launches so and then staking so stake your tetra will that be you know on the website it's got the screenshot yes the, so you'll have you'll be a little pool. you'll be a little a tetra staking pool hit a button stake your tetra and that will be the same interface going mm -hmm. forward or will it be merged into atlas or it, it'd be, it'd be, be all it'd be all on atlas it'd be a, atlas is the dashboard you go to atlas you'll, you just won't be able to you won't show strategies at first they'll be kind of like grayed out or whatever or you won't have that tab you'll just have omnis and then, and then you'll I have your staking point. You see, if you go to at the Atlas front page, you'll see the little tabs. You'll the tabs be added for these other tools. So, technically, Atlas is launching on the twenty fourth, but there's just you can't run any strategies. Well, you, well, technically, the, the dashboard launches on the seven uh, on the seventeenth. Dashboard launches the seventeenth. You can't stake until the twenty fourth. Mm -hmm. So technically, Atlas is launching. The skeleton of Atlas is launching. Yeah, on correct. The it, it, the, yeah, Atlas okay. is is. It's the strategy act. It's really the dashboard. It's really the hub. Atlas is the hub of everything. And everything is a component that inter interconnects through Atlas. You think of it that way. Okay. So that same that same picture you have on the uh, that's on the website. That's what you'll see when you go to you know Tetra dot win. That's that's Atlas. You just won't be able to, to click buttons and stuff. Uh, right. Only certain buttons at certain yeah. time frames when things roll out. And, and yeah, that's exactly. And we'll let people know when things are, we're going to open up to. So it's not a secret. We'll just we'll we'll let everybody know when new things are coming out. We'll let the public know. Hey, we're going to release a new strategy. This is what it's about. This is what it does. I'll do a video on it, and people can plan ahead for use cases for different strategies in the future. You too.